Hey guys, this is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and this is the last of the single carded figures for the Halo Anniversary Series 2. This is ODST Mickey. He comes with the little birdie thingy from the UNSC insignia. I will put that together and show you in a different video. So we'll get that set aside. He comes with his rocket lawn chair. The rocket launcher. Um, this is not the cool uh, Halo Reach one that has the moving forward grip. It's just a solid piece. Even I mean, it's really nicely sculpted and everything. It's just not the fancy one we now know and love. Um, he does hold it fairly well, though. He has a trigger finger, but that kind of gets in the way still because there's no trigger. And then it's just the joint doesn't really, his wrist joint doesn't really accommodate the whole rocket launcher thing. So it's kind of a tricky issue and I would be very careful with it since this wrist joint is particularly flimsy and the ODSTs aren't exactly known for their durability so be very careful with that I'm gonna take it out for the sake of the review let's start off by looking at the rocket launcher it's very nice the sculpt is amazing it really is it's clear that McFarlane uses the actual in-game models to get this to look so nice very very nicely sculpted the paintwork is pretty good I uh, can't really make out what that says it's not as good as it could be but it's still pretty nice it's nice attention to detail still and it says the SPNKR the spanker rocket launcher right there so nice little touch and then the uh, yellow striping on the back is really nicely done overall it's a great looking piece the ODST himself is as well. He stands at just under five inches tall, so he's in scale with, um, I suppose he's probably in scale with the Reach, or uh, I mean, Halo 3 figures. Let's see, this guy's Reach scale. Yeah, he's probably in scale with Reach, or Halo 3, I don't know. Either way, it's close, so it doesn't really matter. Very nicely done. Probably my favorite figure out of the entire wave. The details are superb. I don't know if it's supposed to say something on that little white thing on the top of his helmet or not. It's just kind of a black smudge. But it does say Mickey on the top of his chest piece. The UNSC logo is right there. Very nice. And the UNSC on his chest is very nice. The details are everywhere in the paint and the sculpt. It's really, really fantastic. The backpack, the little caution thing on there. Not sure if the bottom words are readable. I can't really tell in the uh, on the screen of my camera, but it does say caution. That's obvious, and the stripes and everything are just very nicely done. The buckles on his pouch look great. Really, the only time there's a paint issue is on these little whatever they are grenade canisters, whatever those are supposed to be. They're pretty sloppily painted. So it kind of detracts from the figure, but it's not too big of a deal. As far as articulation goes, his head is on the standard double ball joint, so decent range of motion. Due to the sculpt, it doesn't have as much forward, back, or side to side, just pretty much a swivel. They did a really good job with the flashlight, by the way. Forgot to mention that. Same exact articulation as the rookie figure and all those other ones. This shoulder piece swivels and then it has this kind of joint in there so it, you basically have the same articulation as a reach figure it's just accomplished in a different way there is a bicep swivel in there you can see the cut joint so that's nice it's much better than the way the marines are for the reach line without the bicep swivel single jointed elbow pivot right there the wrist rotates and has a hinge i have to say i haven't come across any real quality control issues with the uh, with the elbow joints, the wrist joints, or the bicep swivel that we know have been prevalent in some of the ODST figures. So, so far it's very nice. He does have the waist twist in there, hidden perfectly inside the armor, so you can't even see that. So that's nice. It is somewhat limited due to the uh, sculpt, but it's still pretty nice. He has the same hips, so right here is the T-joint kind of. The hips are going to rotate. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see if I can do it. So yeah, the hips rotate forward and back like that, and then the thigh rotates around that hip piece, and it has a little bit of play for um, moving laterally, but it's very limited, and it's a really tight joint, so good luck with that. The knees, they have a single hinge like that, and then they rotate at the top of the boot inside the knee pad. 
which I had to say I really like because the knee pad completely covers the joint from the front and a little bit from the side, so it looks really cool. Really nice looking figure. Great display piece. The foot is on a um, ball joint, kind of like the reach wrists or ankles. It's kind of like this joint here, but it's very tiny and it's inside the, uh, the armor on there, so it's almost not usable. You do get a little bit of a twist out of there and you can get a little bit of play forward and back, but not a whole lot. Look at the sculpt work on that, it's very nice. Even on the soles of the feet. So it's not perfect, but the uh, overall it's a very, very nice figure. A little bit of uh, articulation limitation. Hey, I'm going to coin that phrase. And a little bit of problem getting the rocket launcher to get in his hand the way we would want. So it's not perfect, but it's still a great figure, and I highly recommend it. It's probably my favorite out of the wave. So if that's saying anything, I don't know. But there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the rest of the reviews, and in the meantime, keep collecting.